to uh, discuss this. Okay. Right there, you're. So to fix the problem, as Christy, uh, you know, gave her insight as to what we need to do here, if the problem and the negatives are clearly stated that incentives have been that have been offered may not make financial sense. It may not be strategically aligned with the city's vision or goals. And the mayor brought up the fact that we don't have a clear economic development picture yet. So why don't we remove H for the moment, get a economic development organization or a group of some sort, and then and let and, and then we can always put it back in. But for the moment it's a blank check. And that is one of the negatives of what was stated in the presentation. So I mean, can we all agree to remove it for the for the time being until we get a clear economic development policy and or group? I wouldn't be in support of that only because of the time that it may take to put that piece together. I don't know. We'd have to draft resolutions to support and other pieces and that could be who knows a six to eight month window where they don't have an opportunity to do these sort of things and then there is actually no mechanism involved to put forth any sort of initiative. Well, they could come to the council and get so, so that's but do we have power over the EU? I mean, right now, I don't believe we can. But we can update the ordinance. To, we we can leave economic development in there, but I update the ordinance to say that they have to come before council, just like the planning commission does. Advise and consent rule. To, to make any changes. So they, they could still have the leeway to go out and pursue mm -hmm. recommendations or people come to them for, for um, services, then they would just have to come to the council for approval. That seems, that would be where I think we'd be best serve both organizations at that point. So, so for instance, economic development includes the radio ads that were there's some radio ads being done for a while and some banners put throughout the city. I mean, is those are those considered economic development? They they kind of seem like it. Do they have to come to us for those? Uh, no. I mean, have, have, what what types of advertising have you done in the past? I've seen I've seen banners of the baseball stadium, I've seen, uh, you know, handouts at the, um, uh, at the uh, county fair. So what other things? I'm, I'm just curious. Yeah, go I, ahead. I, I, don't, I don't think we're, yeah, but, well, I, I'm not sure. I, I, I guess, do, I think, do, you, do you think we should have a say in that? I mean, is that what you're suggesting? That well, I'm just saying this is, it's, it's not defined right now what economic development consists of. I mean, in my opinion, anything that goes beyond uh, their their charter, which I mean, I guess, or their mission statement, which is to provide power. In fact, I don't. Is there a mission statement? Where where was where would I find that? Not in this ordinance. Well, well, I know, but on, on, right on the website, or I believe it's on our website. Yes. Website. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you, I don't see it, but well, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, it's not defined as to what what constitutes. Well, uh, an economic uh, development. I, I think you have to make a, dis a distinction between st strategic decisions <clears throat> and tactical decisions. And what we're talking about here is allowing the, the Gardner Energy folks, the EUB, to have some flexibility with regard to tactical decision making in terms of you know providing service or 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 having discussions with with, with landowners, homeowners that that don't currently have electric service within the city limits. Okay. When it comes to strategic decisions, they need to be in line with the goals and objectives set forward by our economic development plan. I understand we don't have it yet. And it has to be brought before council and there has to be advising consent role of the council exercised at that moment to get that approved. That, I think those are two different pieces. And I would put flyers and banners and advertising and things like that under the tactical decisions they're not strategic. Strategic decisions are where are you going to put your next set of power lines? You're going to, you're going to throw lines out towards four corners. You're going to, you know, uh, put some down down Gardner Road, down towards Nike or past Nike uh, into that in the areas. How about southeast of town, down Moonlight Road, down past 183rd? Those are strategic decisions. Those have to be made with input from not only the council but also economic development people, our community development coordinator because those, those will directly impact how we can provide services to areas that have not been annexed yet. It's very, very important. Recently, we've endeavored to have better communication. I've been having uh, monthly meetings with the, the chairman of the EUB, and Cheryl's been having monthly meetings with the 
director, uh, some of you might have seen in the last uh, weekly update uh, that the uh, Gardner Energy is providing updates uh, for for that as well. Uh, that being said, uh, I think that, that it's previously there had not been a great amount of communication uh, from city administration and, uh, and Gardner Energy in and uh, well, I, I think that people knew some of the things that were going on. It wasn't things that were done in concert, uh, whether it was taking power across I-35 uh, or purchasing the, the, the right of way on, on Waverly, which actually if, if, if property was purchased and it wasn't, that is clearly spelled out in the, the ordinance that, that that should have been. Uh, put before the council. I, I did find the mission statement, if I could read it. Uh, Gardner Energy will provide safe and reliable energy to our community at a competitive price while responding promptly to customer needs in a professional and courteous manner. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a totally different role than going out and seeking additional business. I mean, that, that tasks them with the uh, the job of satisfying the customers that are already here. That's that's how I read that. Does anyone else see no, that I, differently? I would agree, except for I, I would say um, if you if you look at the Southwest Economic Development Council, the chamber, um, businesses, pe potential future businesses, when they come into town, questions that they ask are what utilities are available. <laughs> Um, whether it be telecommunications, whether it be electric, whether it be water. Yep. And so even though they're not here, they are asking those questions. So, so the response to that now, it may not be proactive in nature, but it is addressing the needs of potential customers. So. Well, I, I don't, Larry, I'm not, I'm not sure that, that, that you're going to get consensus of council to agree that, that that the electric utility board or future iterations of shouldn't have some kind of ability to make recommendations. But right now they don't have, they have the ability to, to grant incentives. Yes. And, so, and, and so that already, needs to be we kind fixed. of agree. We kind of agree that's going to be fixed. Yeah, we, so why don't we remove it and then work on that at a later date and, and figure out how to rewrite it? Or, or, or wait until the economic development policy is is uh, firmed up and then and then address it that way. I mean, is that, I mean it is it is considered a negative. Right. So, or why don't we just amend it to say that any of this activity has to be approved by council before moving forward? I wouldn't. I wouldn't pull it from it. I, I would go with an advisory committee, like we were talking about with mm -hmm. with uh, for con with consent of city council. And that seems like that would maybe be a little easier to put in right now, not saying we can't when the like the um, in economic development commission comes to play out and we could you know, we could change things then, but I think that I advisory There needs to be a task force. <coughs> there needs to be input from the EUB on that task force. <coughs> Those task that task force will make recommendations. The recommendations will go before the city council, the council will approve or deny. That's the way it should go. I mean, am I am I am I thinking that what that was your thinking on that, uh, Chris? But, but as long as we're going to go that route, why don't we also make them uh, go through us to approve the rate changes? So, I mean, we haven't gotten there yet. I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah, we, but, yeah let's 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 work our way through the process. Yeah. So, but what, what I'm hearing well, is hold on, as you hold talk on, about Larry. this is you want more control back in council, which begs the question: Why don't we just get rid of this and start over and say? Because What's you're the, the only person that wants to do that. Well, you? you're the only one that wants, I mean, you're the one that definitely wants this thing to continue. And, and you frame the question so that we can only pick apart this document. And I think the bigger issue is, what's our real purpose of this, of this organization? What's the real goal? And, and what are the, the flaws that, that, that come with a board that is not responsible to the citizens of the city? I think the, I, take, I, I, I would I would take offense to that, and I'm not a member of the board. I, you, you certainly are trying to pigeonhole to, to get your your point forward. It, it's fallen on a lot of deaf ears. I'm not 
interested in discussing further just repealing 2296 well, me, and, and no. Okay, well, let me ask Cheryl. Is this at, at, at its current